Hey, fourth grade friends. Okay, uh, Miss Nicer here uh, doing something a little different. I'm going to do some social studies with you. So, um, as you may know, next week, April 22nd, which is next Wednesday, is Earth Day. So, I'm sure a lot of you have done in your past classes, you've done Earth Day crafts, maybe like this one right here, some of these, or I bet you've done some read-alouds and done some sheets on those. Well, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of Earth Day, where it came from, why is it important. So we're going to watch a video about Earth Day, and then we're going to do some recording sheets on that. Here we go. Earth Day is an event created to celebrate the planet's environment and raise public awareness about pollution. It is on April the 22nd every year and is celebrated worldwide with rallies, conferences, outdoor activities and service projects. The first Earth Day was in 1970 and was proposed by Senator Gaylord Nelson of Wisconsin. After seeing the damage caused by a massive oil spill in Santa Barbara, California in 1969, he was inspired to educate the public about the environment. Okay, I'm going to pause really quick because I want to do some math with you. Yeah, we're going to tie in a couple little extra subjects. So, okay, um, we know, I want to know how long Earth Day has been celebrated. So we know that it started in 1970 and this year is 2020. Well, if we want to know how many years it's been celebrated or how many years it's been going on, the difference between the two numbers, we subtract. So since 2020 is the bigger number, I'm going to put that on top. And sorry if the handwriting is sloppy. I'm just using the keypad. Okay, so 2020, and I said we're subtracting because we're telling the difference between two years. And it started in 1970. So we're going to tell the difference between these two numbers. All right, zero minus zero we know is zero because you can't take away anything from nothing. Two minus seven. Well, two is smaller, so I cannot take seven away from that. So I have to go to my neighbor, the hundreds place, and borrow. Well, zero is here. Zero represents nothing. So I have to go to my thousands. If I borrow from a two, it becomes a one. And just a quick rule of thumb, you would put a one in front of the number in front of it. So that would be a one. And then we put the zero that was already here back up. Just a simple true. Okay, so we're trying to subtract the tens place, 2 minus 7. Well, I still can't subtract that, but I can borrow from the hundreds now. So that 10 becomes a 9, and remember the trick. If you borrow from a number, you just put a 1 in front of the other number. So put a 1 in front of the 2. Now, 12 minus 7. 12 is bigger than 7, so I can subtract now. 12 minus 7 is 5. 9 minus 9 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So I don't need to put those zeros if they're in front of the number. So we have been celebrating Earth Day for 50 years. That is so awesome. Aren't you glad you watched this now so you can know this is the 50th year? All right, so I'm going to keep playing this, and then we're going to do that sheet. Senator Nelson died in 2005, but his famous day lives on. In 1995, President Bill Clinton awarded Nelson the Presidential Medal of Freedom for being the founder of Earth Day. This is the highest honor given to civilians in the United States. Earth Day created public support for the Environmental Protection Agency and contributed to the creation of the following acts. The Clean Air Act, the Water Quality Improvement Act, the Endangered Species Act and several other environmental laws. In 1990, Earth Day went global and 200 million people in 141 countries took part in the event. 
Earth Day 2000 included 5,000 environmental groups and 184 countries. In 2010, for the 40th anniversary of Earth Day, 225,000 people gathered at the National Mall for a climate rally. In 2012, Earth Day achieved their goal of planting 1 billion trees. Although Earth Day has become popular, surveys show that people may be losing interest in environmentalism. According to recent polls, 42% of people believe the dangers of climate change are exaggerated, and less than half say that protecting the environment is more important than energy production. But Earth Day is still important because it reminds people to think about humanity's values, the threats the planet faces, and ways to help protect the environment. What will you do to help save our planet? All right, so I'm back. I can remember what I'm doing. Okay, let me see. There I am. Okay, so we are going to get back to our recording sheets. And I'm sure you've done lots of recording sheets in your own classes. Um, recording sheets are just where we put down our information on a video that we watch or a book that we read or notes that we've taken while the teacher's talking. So on this sheet, we are going to write four interesting facts that we heard. Okay, so, and I guarantee that you've done fact and opinion in your class. An opinion is something that someone thinks like, or it's just your own thoughts. Like my favorite food is pizza. Not everybody in the world's favorite food is pizza, and that's okay. That's your own opinion. But a fact is something that can be proven to be true. Things that we know. It's our reality. Like, today I look outside and it's a sunny day. Unless you're watching this on another day, and then it might be cloudy. But today, Friday, is a sunny day. Okay, so we're just going to write four facts that we heard about in that video. So, one of the things that I heard, and like I said, I'm, I'm here by myself, so I'm just doing the things that I heard and things that I remember about the video. So, one of those things is it started in 1970. That was the first celebration. Now, yes, he proposed it in 1969, but we didn't have that first celebration until 1970. And I'm also going to put with this one, because we call it Earth Day. So many other countries call it International Mother Earth Day. Kind of cool, isn't it, that we call it different things. But same thing, we're celebrating the Earth. I'm going to put that in bold, because it's important. We're celebrating the Earth. No matter what you call it, it's a celebration of the Earth and trying to protect it. So future generations can enjoy it too. Because think about this quarantine. We have been stuck inside a lot. So it's really nice to get outside and enjoy the sunny weather. So we want to preserve that for our future generations. So they can go outside and enjoy outdoor time and family time. So another fact that I remember from the video I thought was important was that in 1995, Senator Nelson... I can't type. I'm just typing my last name. Senator Nelson was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So, and he received that because he founded Earth Day, because it was such an important part of our history. You know, President Clinton wanted to celebrate Senator Nelson, and he wanted people to remember him because he was such an important part of our history by protecting our history and protecting our Earth. Um, another fact I thought was really cool was in 2012, 1 billion, y'all, that number's big, 1 billion trees were planted. And this was around the world. So it's not just the United States that celebrates Earth Day. This is around the world. One billion trees were planted. And as you know, um, you know, this is basically research. Anytime you're writing facts about something, it's coming from somewhere. And ours happened to come from that video. 
Well, you can do research anywhere, and as long as it's a credible source. So I wanted to get some facts from some other places, and one interesting fact that I found was that Earth Day is, there's a different theme for Earth Day every year. And the theme for Earth Day 2020 is climate action. And what that means is that we're, re we're hoping to reduce climate change. So some ways that we can do that, and you can do that from at home or in your school. I wish we were at school right now, but we're not. But you can do this at home, and next year when we are in school, you can do that at school. But some ways that you can reduce climate change is reduce your waste. And we can do that by reusing our water bottles. I know, you know, a lot of y'all bring water bottles for snack or for lunch. And so one way to reduce our waste is instead of using those plastic throwaway water bottles, you can use the different plastic, the reusable plastic, and just wash them out and use them the next day. And then another way is to reduce our paper. And it's awesome because we're already doing that this year. So hopefully maybe next year you'll be used to that. And it can start us on helping to reduce climate change and save our climate. But um, you're already doing a whole lot of computer work. We're really not using a whole lot of paper minus our workbook pages. So next year, you're already used to that. Maybe we can do some more online assignments. At least I hope to do that. I really like um, focusing on online instruction. But that's another topic. So we have talked about facts about Earth Day. And now I want to do a timeline activity. So a timeline activity is where you're putting dates in order, events that occurred that were important to the topic that we're talking about. And we're talking about Earth Day. So here are some dates that are important to Earth Day. So I'm going to pull up this sheet. So, and I'm going to put them side by side. So that way it's easy for us to see and fill out this chart. This is what I try to show my kids in class. You know, you don't have to mem remember everything. You can just double screen. It makes it a whole lot easier. So you can just kind of do a little bit as you go. So this has a starting on 1962. So I'm using this, this is history.com, the history channel, and we're just pulling the dates that it's asking us for. So in 1962, what was important that happened in 1962? So let's look at that date. Rachel Carson publishes Silent Spring. The bestseller sounded an alarm about the potential dangers and consequences of widespread pesticide use and helped raise the environmental consciousness of the American public. Okay, so pesticide, I don't know if you know this, but a pesticide are like sprays that you put around your house to kill insects, bugs. Like, I have Terminex come, I think they come maybe every three months, and they spray around my house because we get ants. So that is a pesticide. But the widespread use can be harmful to our environment, and it has potential dangers. So, this book helped to raise awareness of that. So, we're going to write Silent Spring was published and helped to raise awareness of potential dangers to the earth. Okay, my next year, if we're going down, because we started at the top of my timeline, and I hope we know our dates in order, we know would be 1963. So looking at 1963, what's important about that? 
Senator Nelson accompanies President John F. Kennedy on a speaking tour around the U.S. to raise awareness about environmental issues. However, protecting the environment remains a low priority for most politicians and citizens. And I think that was because they didn't really know the importance about it. This hasn't been a major issue at this point in time. So they're hoping to raise awareness of that and make it important to other people. So Nelson, Senator Nelson, and President Kennedy speak about environmental issues, but it's, it's still not a big deal. It's not a big deal at this time. People don't think it's that important. So that's in 1963. Let's see how much it changed in 1969. That's six years later. All right, 1969, chemical waste released into Cleveland's Cuyahoga. Uh, that's probably way wrong. River causing it to catch fire. The event becomes symbolic of how industrial pollution is damaging America's natural resource. And so also in 1969, he announces the idea of Earth Day. And it's a demonstration against the degradation of America's natural resources. So, 1969, chemical waste catches fire in a river. Y'all, it's got to be a lot of chemical waste in order for it to catch fire in a river. Rivers aren't tiny. So, it's got to be a lot of waste, and I can see why it was a big deal to him. And so, also in 19... Ooh, I'm writing this on the wrong one, aren't I? Waste. Sorry. I'm trying to jump ahead. Nelson. Also in 1969, we know he proposes Earth Day. That means he's trying to get everybody on board for it, and he's wanting to start that campaign for it. Okay, so in April, in our second, going down our timeline, so we finished 1969, now going down our timeline, April 22nd, 1970, so I've got to find that. Okay, it says 20 million people participate in activities for the first Earth Day. That's a lot of people. 22 million people celebrate the first, this was the first Earth Day. Okay, my next date going down my timeline, December 1970. And remember, this was 50 years ago. December 1970, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is established by President Richard Nixon in order to protect human health and safeguard the natural environment which is air, water, and land. Before the agency was founded, the federal government was not structured to make a coordinated attack on the pollutants that harm human health and degrade the environment. So in December 1970, the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, and clearly we know it's an agency protecting the environment. The EPA is established by Nixon, the president at that time, to protect the environment. I think I still misspelled that. Okay, got it. All right, my next date, going down my timeline, because see, I'm just following the lines. Going down my timeline, the next line would be 1971. So I'm looking at my sheet. My website, where I'm getting all my facts for my timeline, 1971, 1971. Environmental activist organization, organization, excuse me, Greenpeace is founded. Today, the group which has campaigned against nuclear power, whaling, and global warming, among other issues, has offices in 55 countries around the world. So, Greenpeace was founded 
and campaign. So that means they fight against many issues that cause damage. So they're fighting against things that cause damage to our earth. And it says there's 55 countries that have these offices. So that's a lot of countries that celebrate this and that are fighting against damaging things to our environment. And that's a good thing. 1973, going down my timeline, 1973, Congress passes the Endangered Species Act to protect animals and their ecosystems. So the Endangered Species Act was founded to protect animals and their habitats. And we've learned about habitats, just where they live, and everything that's around them. So we want to protect those because animals are just as important as our lives. They're living things. Plants and animals are living things. So we want to protect those. So the Endangered Species Act was founded in 1973. And then our last thing on our timeline following down, July 3rd, 2005. So I'm going to find that on my sheet. July 3rd, 2005. Earth Day founder Gaylord Nelson dies at age 89. His New York Times obituary notes that in addition to his Earth Day work, Nelson was a principal sponsor of laws that preserved the 2,000-mile Appalachian Trail, established fuel efficiency standards in automobiles, sought to control damage from strip mining, and led to a ban on the insecticide DDT. So, he did a lot more than just found Earth Day. He's really big in protecting our environment, and he did a lot of things to do that. So, Earth Day founder passed away. And we know that in 1995, he was given the presidential award. This was in 2005. We do the math, hopefully. That's 10 years later. So, after he was given the presidential presidential award he died 10 years after that so he got to enjoy that for a while okay so I'm going to close this and hopefully you learned a lot about Earth Day and I hope you celebrate it in a lot of different ways you can do that with planting a tree going and cleaning up some garbage or we can just make a little simple craft and um, I know for fourth grade students we'll be sending you some Earth Day activities to do for next week but I'm going to close with a little Earth Day vocabulary. If I can get it. There we go. Earth Day's coming up. It is? And I think for this Earth Day, I want to show you guys how it started. That sounds cool. So let's hop in my time machine and go back. Let's go. Travel back in time to 1970. Yeah. Nobody cares about the Earth crazily. What? We haven't ever cared because we don't understand it. We don't even know that humans can hurt the planet. We don't have rules to prevent pollution when factories make waste. What's the solution? What do do? Jump it in the water, uh -huh. release it in the air, what? pay no mind to that oil spill over there. Cool. Recycling? That's not something we do because we don't know that there's any reason to. But all last year, Mr. Nelson was scheming. He's a senator from the state of Wisconsin. He's frustrated because people don't seem to care what happens to the oceans, soil, and air. So the senator finds students who are passionate about making change. They are activists, and they help organize the first Earth Day. They chose April 22nd as the date yeah. so that it's nice out. Warm spring weather for people to appreciate the Earth together. Uh, Earth Day. Yeah. Hey, we're celebrating the Earth today. Yeah. Earth Day. Uh, hey, yeah. we want to protect the planet each and every day. Yeah. Earth Day. Uh, hey, we're celebrating the Earth today. Yeah. Earth Day. Uh, hey, yeah. we want to protect the planet each and every day. Yep. Earth Day was a great success. Earth Day had a lasting effect. After Earth Day, the Clean Air Act was born. So when you inhale and exhale, the air won't harm. The Endangered Species Act was also born. If there's a threat to animals, sound the alarm. And the Water Quality Improvement Act reduced water pollution. 
that's a fact. Plus, Earth Day inspired unmistakably the Environmental Protection Agency. Senator Nelson didn't stop there. He worked to have Earth Day every year, everywhere, yeah. to educate people about the Earth's well-being because environmentalism was a cause he believed in. And now, thanks to Senator Nelson's labor, Earth Day still popping decades later. Over a billion people participate every year across the globe and all the way back here. We show our support for planet Earth and protecting it because we know it's worth uh, Earth Day. Yeah. Hey, we're celebrating the Earth today. Earth Day. Hey, we want to protect the planet each and every day. Earth Day. Hey, we're celebrating the Earth today. Earth Day. Hey, we want to protect the planet each and every day. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed that, and today's a really sunny day, so I hope you get out and enjoy that. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye.